because I'm loving the commentary on the uh, on YouTube uh, about the security guards last night. See, you got all these Christians out there, they'll throw a scripture at you telling you how your behavior is off and all these other things. But see, the thing is they don't understand the truth and it cracks me up and I have to laugh at it because they tell me I should have handled things and sometimes if you've lived in these shoes of Kirk James, where I'm sitting there monitoring my back constantly on this beach even, because if I know the truth and the love of God, they will attack you out of nowhere. There will be excuses. I've been attacked for no reason, been sitting on a beach and police officers just come to me and start attacking me and saying, somebody said you insulted them, I did nothing. See, if you're a true servant of God, or if, you're, uh, if you show the true love, you light up like a light bulb. And demons, demonic forces, even ones that come after you within seconds. It's called targeted individuals. See, so the ones that are attacking me, have, they're not all the way with God, not even close. I've been attacked for years. I lost millions of dollars. And my former wife turned her back on me. We all know my story. See, they didn't know my story. And what cracks me up is how they sit there. I love how they'll say scripture this or that, or, you know, you know God says you should be this way or that way, and, and these things. They don't realize there are some of these people that sold us, and you can't save them. Even if Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, walked away from them, right? Because there are adversarial forces. Anyway, and see, the thing that cracked me up about this is they spend more time attacking me than going on helping somebody or helping a truly lost soul when I'm already there. Because see, I, and whether you believe it or not, folks, and I don't give a crud, I'm one of the 144,000 revelations. I think you are too if you watch this video and understand my words. We are here on a mission. We got 7 billion people and, and 7 billion people that are completely asleep. We got, I've talked to all the churches. Remember, I'm known by, I, I know the Mormons. I've been to Mormon Temple. I've been to Catholic Church. I've been to all of them. They're lost. And the thing is, though, if you want to understand what's going on around here, see, they'll sit there and attack us. They know nothing about decoding our reality. They know nothing about the Golden Web, about the Phoenicians, the words, the phonics. So I'm going to recommend watch the Golden Web, part one, and also understand Phoenicians. you got to understand all the stuff. Understand astrology. And also... So you also want to understand the Mandela effect, which they can't understand the Mandela if, if you can't even see the Mandela effect and that the Bible's changed, or even acknowledge it or come up with excuses, then you are not with the truth, the word that's given by your God, your Creator. You're not even close. I'm sorry, because that is step one. And, and there's so many. So you got the Mandela effect. You can look at the Golden Web, decode your reality, look at mud flood even. There are, we have an emerging of different timeline and dimensions. And these people sit there and they're, they're, they'll sit and hold on to their Bible. I've told you a million times, you've got to go beyond the Bible. What makes you holy, what truly makes you holy is understanding good and evil. Understanding both sides. That's what holiness is. That's one of the reasons here, and we're getting our butts kicked, the true ones that have the truth even. They don't want us to tell the truth. That they don't want us to tell about how this is like a matrix of just evil in the beast system. The entire earth even, like I told you, study uh, GRTX1. He talks about how the B system, that even streets, Donald Trump Towers is on 6th Avenue. Get it? The Mar uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID, uh, uh, is 1 plus 9 is 10. Satan. I mean, seriously, folks. Wake up. So quit attacking true prophets like me and other ones are trying to tell you the truth. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. If you don't listen to our words, I make mistakes. But God and, and it always puts me in direction. And the Lord, and I've actually talked to the Lord. Yes, I have and haven't lost my mind truly talk to the Lord one-on-one, -on -one. not a lot, but a few times. I have met the Lord, I told you, I have met the Lord on the Southwest Aircraft Airline. He's not allowed to step foot on earth in New York City. See, and there's the problem we have. We got many brothers and sisters out there trying to tell the truth and hold the truth, and nobody wants to listen. They think we've lost our minds and think we're, we're privileged. We're only privileged because we listen to God. And you keep your, you're, you're blind. You can't even see what's happening. Masks of the beasts. Are you kidding me? And, it, and guess what? Everybody's already been, uh, the one world uh, government, it, I mean, one world religion, it's already here. It's called the dollar. We've been worshiping that for a hundred years already, folks. It's already here. So instead of quit attacking me and telling me about my behavior,